When you receive your Weedos 3500 machine, it will come with a shipping box and two tool boxes. This will include all the items needed to connect your pipes and fittings of engineering materials together. When you uncrate your 3500 machine, first thing you want to do is check the drawer, check for the handle that will go on your heater assembly. Also, you'll want to check for the handle that goes on to the guide wheel. The heating element is extremely hot, so ensure that you allow adequate cooling time before you change out your heat face sets to go to another size pipe. Along with the machine, you will get a TD-1, which basically is a handheld device similar to the found on the large machine. The installation of the heat faces are identical to where you put in the base of the heat face and then thread on the top. This is equipped with a 110 plug and the element that you can also adjust. Knowing that we have a one inch pipe, what we'll do is we'll look at our heating times and we can see that for a one inch polypropylene pipe, it will, the heating time is five seconds at the temperature of 495 to 505 degrees Fahrenheit. As we prep the end of our pipe, what we'll use is a DEB4 deburring tool. We'll put the deburring tool on the pipe and turn it around. And what that does, that will cause a indentation and take off the burrs that are around the edge, slightly beveling it for easy processing into the connector. In order to set the pipe diameter, we have a gauge, one inch, three quarter, and it goes all the way up to four inch on the 3500 machine. You would pull out on the, the release device, set the proper setting, in this case it was a one inch, push back in and it will lock in. First thing you do whenever you start to set your depth on your fitting. Make sure your coupling is in. Tighten it down. Open up your depth. Open up your blocks all the way. Push your depth gauge plunger in. Ensuring that your depth gauge is on the correct pipe setting, you close your blocks until they come to a stop. At that time you can release your depth gauge plunger. With this tightened down, it will not move. You put your pipe, insert your pipe, or have it already loosely fitted into your clamps. You bring this forward until it breaks the plane of the fitting. As you bring your pipe forward, you want to just break the radius of the fitting, then tighten it down. Now you can open up your blocks and you are set and you have the correct depth in which to make your joint juncture. Here we have the basic machine. It is set up so that the, with the heat faces on the heating element and both of them 
is aligned with the pipe and the coupling. As the heating element is coming up to temperature, you will see that the green light is steady, the red light indicating that it is on and heating up. As you can see, the green light is flashing. That is an indication that the heating element is at the appropriate temperature. With the heating element up to temperature, we will now fuse the two pieces together. We're going to bring these in, keeping a constant pressure. You don't want to break your bead. There we have it, fused together.